Geeks, get your engines running. What's inside the newest Geek Fuel subscription box? Ooh, those engines purr like kittens. Geek Fuel delivers to your doorstep a collection of geek items inside. Geek items contained such as t-shirts, such as comics, such as stickers, such as so much more. Somebody's like, ooh, I want to stay on board for this so much more. If you're interested in getting Geek Box delivered to your door, one of the best Geek Boxes around, you can click the link down below and subscribe to the Geek Fuel. We're going to go ahead and get the box opened up, check out the contents going on inside, and like to think along the ways we're going to have a little bit of fun as well. Ooh, that engine purrs. Let's go ahead and get this cut open. And technically, I do have to be honest with myself and you guys, the viewing audience. I don't actually have to cut anything. No, it didn't come with a force field to protect people from the outside, pillaging the contents inside. No, actually, Geek Fuel arrived in a larger mailer box. In this case, I don't actually have to cut any seal on the front to open up this turkey and check out the gizzards inside. Ooh, I should get into marketing. Let's go ahead and open up the box. See what we got going on inside. I don't know why, whatever seems to be the case, whenever I get these geek fuels, I always have a tough time opening up the box. I jokingly say there's no tape on the front, and yet I still manage to struggle with checking out the contents inside, at least getting that box flap opened up. You hear that? Ooh, that engine purrs. We've got ourselves what seemed to be a ghost trap. I'm guessing if I open this up, Slimer isn't going to slime me, but what I am probably going to be seeing is the contents inside of this specific subscription box. So I'm just going to put that to the side for the time being. Don't want anything spoiled after all. The first thing we're going to have a look at... What? I wonder his eyes do not appear. In front of me is a Toys R Us... Let's get that unwrinkled here. A Toys R Us t-shirt. You can see Toys R Us, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's so many things at Toys R Us that I can play with. You can see there's Jeffrey. Is it Jeffrey the Giraffe? I believe that's his name. One time, actually, when I was younger, I was fortunate enough to run into Jeffrey the Giraffe. I, I suspect it was probably the legitimate Jeffrey, not all these imposter Jeffreys that were working the various different store circuits. I feel like my communication, my interaction with this particular Jeffrey was the real thing. Sort of what people say about Santa Claus as well. But that's a nice looking t-shirt. What I do like about it is it's got a little bit of weathering to it. It looks vintage. Like I may have stolen this off the back of an employee working at Toys R Us back in the 80s. I promise that wasn't a true story. But meeting Jeffrey, that was the real deal. Let's go ahead and fold that up. Put this to the side. And while we continue to check out the contents, I'd like to send out a big shout out to Nathan, one of my viewers that like to watch this channel. Hello, Nathan. Thank you for checking out the channel. What do we got going on here? A no ghost spinner ring. Spinner ring. Okay. I'm not sure how a, a ring could spin unless it's been possessed. And if that's the case, perhaps I shouldn't be opening this up myself. First of all, hello? Anybody in there? It comes to us, by the way, from uh, Factory Studios, or Factory Entertainment. Let's correct that, make sure that's legit. www.factoryentertainment, or FactEnt, they abbreviated that, .com. This is not a toy. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, what What exactly spin? Oh, okay. It doesn't legitimate, it doesn't really spin in your hand. But what it does do is it spins right here. So if you wear it on your finger, it says, I ain't afraid of no goblins. No, actually it says ghosts right there. It's embossed, which is nice. So you can see like the font as well as the no ghost logo is all indented into the metal. And like I said, it spins. It reminds me of the little readout display. It's not really little on the sides of the Ecto-1A. You know, for what it is, it's okay. I mean, it's it lives up to its name, certainly. It's a ring that spins. Okay, we'll just put that to the side for the time being. Seems like a lot of an additional packaging for some, such, a, some, such a small... I can't even get it out. I feel like I'm possessed by a ghost. Such a small trinket, and I feel like it comes with such a large box. Anyways, we're going to put that ring back in there for the time being, just in case, just in case it's possessed, and we'll put that to the side. 
So far, so good. The box is pretty good. Let's see what else we got next here. A fantastic forgotten fortunes of rare retro relics, trinkets, treasures, and trash. You can see it comes in a foil bag here. We've unearthed a rare collection of vintage pop culture collectibles that will instantly transport you to the time where quarters were king and Saturday morning reigned supreme. You got that right, robot. I'm assuming that's what the robot is saying down below. He's telling me apparently I have to open it. I don't generally like to be pressured by mechanical objects, but you're right, robot. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, do I need? No, I don't need. I don't need a knife. Maybe this will be one of the first and only. I'm sure I've done it in other cases as well where I don't need a knife. So what we got in here. First thing we've got is a Moonraker card. It's a bit strange. It says Mysterious Hideouts. There's Roger Moore, one of my least favorite James Bond Bonds. I was always more so a Sean Connery guy. Timothy Dalton actually wasn't bad, but I feel Timothy Dalton came at the wrong time for being a Bond. People wanted the more lighthearted James Bonds, whereas I feel like Daniel Craig now sort of is doing the same sort of Bond as what we got with Timothy Dalton. But we'll talk Bond for a different day. Let's flip around the card. I felt like I was all thumbs there. I could barely hold on to the card. Mysterious hideouts. After landing his glider and eluding Jaws, 007 follows an alluring blonde. Ooh. So the metabula fantabulous. Fantabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Fabulous secret hideout of Drax, which is located inside a great pyramid. There you go. Moonraker. Moonraker is actually one of the better Roger Moore bonds, I find. I also like the man with the golden gun. Speaking of Jeffrey and speaking of Toys R Us, we got ourselves a Toys R Us sticker. Ooh, I'm going to find a good place for putting that. I have my sticker album after all. It's about, it's about th that thick. It's the size of an encyclopedia. I'm going to put that in one of my pages. Very cool. So what else we have in here? We've got Little Nero's Pizza. No fiddling around. Call 555-8385. Little Nero's Pizza. Drawing a blank. Drawing a blank. It's a 555 number, so I've got to assume it's coming from a movie. 555-8385. Was that? That's not Home Alone, is it? I'm thinking of something else, I'm sure. Somebody will tell me down below in the comment section. You guys are really good for that. And last but certainly not least. Let's see what we got in here. It looks like, looks like a small child with a hat. Opening it up. Ooh. That almost shattered in my hand. Oh, it did, actually. I think I actually cut my finger doing that. Look at that. Gonna have to be careful. Please, please be careful when it comes to handling things like this. We got a little cat. I'm assuming it's a cat with a little cap. I'm assuming it's a cat. It's a rubbery little cat, as you can see. And where's a hat? Just on his hat. On his head. I kept wanting to rhyme with that. A little D on its hat there. Spin it around. I like. I kind of like to have the hat like this. There you go. Play that pity card. Now all he needs is a stand with lemonade for sale with the lemonade spelt with one letter backwards. There you go. A little sad kitty. I feel like he's a little on the downside. What's so down with that frown, Mr. Kitty Cat? You can put him to the side. I feel like we just spent a whole lot of time just simply going through the fantastic forgotten fortunes of rare retro relics, trinkets, treasures, and trash. Try saying that twice. And last but certainly not least, we've got the Geek Fuel Kevin's Knit Beanie. Oh, look at this. Let's get this opened up. Yeah, I did actually cut myself. Go fancy that. I wasn't expecting that at all. It is, of course, the beanie hats that Kevin wears in the movie. Kevin's knit beanie. The only thing that actually isn't it, it's screen replica after all. The only thing that isn't so much screen accurate is the fact that it's got the Geek Fuel, a little label there, stitched along the bottom. Oh god, I'm gonna have to get myself a band-aid. You can see there's the Geek Fuel right there stitched down below, and short of that, everything else to this is quite screen accurate. That's pretty cool. I like how that one turned out. Then, of course, we've got ourselves the insert card, which we've done our best to try to avoid right from day one to check out the contents inside. Let's go ahead and open that up and just verify all the stuff we got inside this month's Geek Fuel box. Peeling away the flaps like that. At the very top, we've got ourselves Ghostbusters rings. Receive one of three. 
Well, of the ones that variety of available ones, I don't know if all of them spun. I got to believe that the Terror Dog and the No Ghost logo actually didn't spin. The one I did get did spin. A Terror Dog is slightly creepy, although I'm intrigued by how good that would have looked in person. I think that would have been a fun little ring. This one actually is valued at $40. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and a theory of Atlantis? If the answer is yes, show your love for the Ghostbusters movies by sporting one of these unique rings on your finger. Get one of the following terror dog, uh, the logo signet ring, or the no ghost spinner ring. All come to us from the folks over at Factory Entertainment. Inside, we also got ourselves the FFFRRR TTT mystery bag. This month's mystery bag features treasures from near and far, including a magnet from our favorite pizza joint, Little Nero's. Don't forget to tip the change, you filthy animal. Ah, it was, it was Home Alone. I was right. Point for me. We also did get ourselves the Kevin's Knit Beanie exclusive holiday screen replica. If you find yourself at home all alone this holiday season, just know you can find comfort in knowing you have your head covered. This exclusive beanie will keep you warm as you make your grocery run to stock up on the essentials like microwave dinners, fabric softener, milk, and plastic army men. So kick back, relax, and listen to some soothing polka from the Kenosha Kickers, the polka kings of the Midwest, to get you through the holiday spirit. And also there was the I Don't Want to Grow Up, I'm a Toys R Us Kid exclusive t-shirt. We always told ourselves we wouldn't grow up. Well, at some point, whether we planned on it or not, we ended up doing just that. Get swept back in time to the days of endless aisles of toys that seemed like a mirage too good to be true. What we wouldn't give to have ten minutes back in the store where children's imaginations and parents' bank statements could soar. Quite the cavalcade of cool collectibles. That we got inside this month's box of Geek Fuel. If you would like to subscribe to the Geek Fuel, you can click the link down below in the video description. I'll take you over to Geek Fuel's website and you can subscribe today. I think of the th of all the things that we got inside this month's offerings, I feel like my favorite thing actually could be the Toys R Us t-shirt because I think it's more nostalgia than anything else. But I'm digging the design of that t-shirt and it reminds me of the time that I met the real Jeffrey. The real one. It was, wasn't was one of those imposters. I could spot imposter Jeffreys a mile away. And that Jeffrey was legit. Certainly as well, also if you're enjoying all the content you're seeing in this channel, on this channel, through this channel, consider the idea of hitting that subscribe button down below. Move on over to the bell notification. Make sure you ring-a-ling-a-ling -a -a that. I think it's over here. Here. Right here. It's right there. It's right there. I'm bleeding here, so I'm going to have to get myself a Band-Aid. But consider the idea of also hitting that subscribe button down, be down below. That's your way. That's your way of telling YouTube just all the times you want to get notified when new videos are popping up. I don't know why it has to be a thing, but it is a thing, so make it your thing. Hit that bell notification down below. And keep your peepers peeled. Come back to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's, of course, when we have new videos popping up all the time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody has just put their hand up in the back of the corner here. Yes, go ahead, sir. Yes? You're enjoying the Rice Krispies? Well, thank you. I made those from scratch. Your other question? Yes, I do have two videos. Two videos a day. You would be correct. Your math was simple and effective. Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Two videos a day, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you come back. Make sure you come back, sit a spell, and enjoy the snacks that I've laid out on the snack table. Tons of videos coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.